Hi guys, it's Clara and today I'd like to show you how I colored these uh, wooden pieces, these wooden backgrounds here on this page. Uh, this page is from World of Flowers by Joanna Basford, so if you own this book, uh, definitely give it a shot. And please let me know how it went uh, down in the comments or on my Instagram, you can tag me anytime. And today we'll be using Polychromos. Uh, I will put the numbers down in the description so you can always go back and read them. And well, that's about it. Let's do it! So the first thing I'm going to do is mark the grain of the wood. Uh, I'm doing that in the darkest pencil we have. and. I'm doing it very lightly at the beginning just to sort of you know get the feel for where I actually want the dark parts of the wood and eventually if I'm a little bit more sure that I like that pattern I'm gonna just go over it again and make it a bit darker at this point I think it's really good or <laughs> rather before this point I think it's rather good to find some references I would just go online, look up some wood textures or wood images and try to find one that shows really well the texture, you know, like the lines that are in the wood and either, you know, try it out on a piece of paper on the side, like the shapes you want to use in the wood grain or if you own a tablet with a stylus, you can, uh, you know, upload the picture to your tablet or download the picture to your tablet and uh, just draw over the picture uh, and get the feel for the lines, you know, like wood is very forgiving, right? Not every piece of wood is the same, so you can get away with a lot and still it's going to look rather realistic. But it's still nice uh, to look up the references so you know you're on a, uh, on a good way to do it. with the texture, uh, with the lines, I go to the metal um, brown we're using and uh, I start to uh, add another layer of the color. So when I, when I add enough of the burnt sienna, I go in with the light yellow ochre and I add another layer on top of the browns with the yellow, including the places I avoided before. Well, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> and uh, then I just go in and I repeat the process. I darken the grain, the lines I uh, did at the beginning. Then I usually add uh, more, par more parts where I use the burnt sienna to darken uh, some of the parts. And then I add another layer of the light yellow ochre just to make it more um, to that warm tone of wood.
that's it for the wood. Uh, you basically just repeat the, the steps, like uh, making the grain, adding the darker brown, and then going in with the yellow. If you want to, you can watch me color in the flower on top. I'll be listing the colors I used for that in the description as well. So thank you for tuning in. Bye.